grade 10 student. I am teacher Jelly. How are you today? I hope you are doing good and well. Welcome to another day of learning and opportunity. I am your teacher Roxanne C. Isla. Let's start to learn and to love English. Our target most essential learning competency for this week is to observe the language research, campaign, and advocacy. At the end of this module, you are expected to first gain understanding of the language of persuasion and different language features employed. Second, analyze a speech that talks about campaigns and advocacy. Third, write an essay that incorporates format, objective, and impersonal language. So even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream. That my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama, with its vicious racists, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted and every hill and mountain shall be made low the rough places will be made plain and the crooked places will be made straight and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together this is our hope this is a faith that I go back to the south with with this faith we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope with this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, 
we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. So free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Language aids in developing and grooming one's personality as a whole. Since learning a language is part of our knowledge, it becomes one of the key factors in competitiveness. In the advanced industrial society of today, the basic knowledge of a single or more language has become indispensable. And language is the most essential tool for academic writing. Academic language is formal, objective, impersonal. These features ensure that ideas and arguments are communicated in a clear, convincing, and professional manner. So the tone used in academic writing, such as in research, campaign, and advocacy is usually formal, meaning that it should not sound conversational or casual. You should particularly avoid colloquial, idiomatic, slang, or journalistic expressions in favor of precise vocabulary. The language greatly matters in research, as it enables the researcher to effectively communicate valuable results to his or her target readers. Research is important in the development of the society by seeking answers, questions, and providing solutions to the problems around us. So research is defined as careful consideration of study regarding a particular concern or problem using scientific methods. Research makes use of a formal, academic, and persuasive language to communicate discussions and present corresponding findings for variables studied. Campaign and advocacy are two closely related concepts usually seen in the form of speeches, print-based materials, songs, video clips, and informative advertisements, among others. A campaign is any series of actions or events that are meant to achieve a particular result. A campaign, usually social or political in nature, is technically defined as a planned set of activities that people carry out to attain a certain goal or objective. Now, let's have advocacy. So, when I say advocacy, it refers to activities that argue, plead, support or favor a certain cause. Various causes for advocacy usually aim to influence decision-making, especially with issues involving social, 
political, environmental, and economic perspective. While advocacy may be similar to campaign in some points, advocacy speeches present strong points that may either support or contradict existing policies and legal mandates on specific topics or issues. Now, let us discuss one side of language which is commonly used in developing reading materials, especially in research, campaigns, and advocacy. First, we have persuasive language. When we say persuasive language, it refers to the language the author uses to persuade either through speaking or writing. In writing, this includes the techniques the author utilizes to convince the reader to believe his ideas or point of view about an issue. Next, we have the power of persuasion through language. Let us remember that the main aim of persuasive language is to convince the reader to agree with one's point of view. To be more specific, persuasion is intended for the following uses. One, we have call to action. It refers to using language in doing something to achieve a goal or deal with an existing problem. Next, we have make a change. It is the use of language to make people realize and make something out of the usual. We also have prove something wrong. It refers to how you prove your stand by contradicting the opposition. Next, we have create interest. It is using persuasion to spark interest and attention to the writer's point. Next, Get people to agree with your point it is when a writer uses language to persuade and convince people to agree with his point. We also have techniques in persuasion. With the many purposes of persuasion, it may be identified that persuasion can be an excellent tool in creating stand in writing. Accordingly, writers adopt several persuasive techniques in writing. Jelly Ann. And I am Teacher Roxanne. Hard service! service.